I'll admit, this is usually a, an area I don't cover, but, you know, I need more power, and this is a gym, you know, or at least a side quest you can go on the game, you know, by getting yourself a Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee. So, you know, I'll do what I can to get some extra levels here. I'll admit, you know, I would like to have a shot at a Koga after this. Though taking him down may be a difficult task. If only because, you know, Psybeam may not be powerful enough, though the real problem is just getting to Koga. Because, you know, some of the trainers in there use freaking Hypnos. I don't know why. I mean, I guess they can use status moves, and that's the, the main theme of that gym. You're like, oh, we, we, we drive you insane and annoy you with status, like toxic, or poison, or sleep, or paralysis, you know, like, like a sneaky ninja would. Well, darn, I, sh I guess I should have put this thing to sleep. Oh, well, I, I didn't get punished for it, so I guess it doesn't matter. I just keep forgetting how underwhelming my side beam is. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna get around if I have to keep relying on Butterfree long term at this rate. Like, it just doesn't have the best options beyond, you know, abusing Gen 1 sleep uh, rules. And I get kinda tired of doing that all the time. Well, whatever. Let's see, um... Psybeam, obviously. I suppose I could also go chasing after my rival, but I'm pretty sure that wouldn't go as well as I'd like to think it would. Because he's probably about the same level I am, and he he'd actually have a team. And I can't just drop everything with Psybeam. <sighs> Gosh darn it. And that can crit, so... I really don't want to take that again. I guess I should look at the bright side. I didn't use Rock Slide on me or something. Because that would have been a devastating counter if it could have done that. One point, huh? Nothing tough, huh? Well, you can break whatever you want for training. It doesn't mean you're going to be good at a Pokemon battle. I mean, come on. But, oh, he's going to use a monkey. Well, Royal One, um, do what you can. Oh, damn, we got outsped. And now all those are going to be critical hits, so we might end up losing this. Oh, we got lucky. It only hit twice. Oh, man. It would have been bad if that hit, you know, five times, you know, with critical hits. Like, I would have been dead. Well, time to finish you off. Because even if it outspeeds me, you know, if it's napping, it's going to take a whole turn to get back into position, so we'll be dead by then. Let's see. I can't remember if I can use Surf Outside Battle right now or not. Do I have some potions I haven't let go of yet? Yeah. We'll just use one of those up, get back up to 89 hit points. After all, it'd be a bit easier you know, if we only had to we had the free item slot, right? Now let's see. What is this guy gonna try and do to me? A manky on the first turn, huh? <sighs> I wish I could offer some respect to the manky, you know, but its terrible defenses are just the stuff of legends, and I used one, I know. Like, it, it was a horrible time trying to get through some parts of the game with Mankey slash Primeape. Because, like, it's the glossiest glass can I ever did see. And they're not even fast enough to necessarily outspeed everything you're going to go up against either. <sighs> which is which makes the situation even worse. You know, if you had a guaranteed, you know, hit, you know, it would be bad. But at least you could, you know, devastate the opponent, you know, with your first move. But no, they also get outsped, which makes, you know, all that hitting force seem far less impressive. And I still couldn't one-shot it. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to one-shot Koga's, uh, 
coughings and wheezings with just one side beam. It's gonna be all three or four hits, isn't it? And even with that, you know, I only got a base 80 special, yeah. Ugh. Well, I guess that's not our base. I, I'd have to double check what that is. Yeah, yeah, the Karate Master. Not the Cry King! He's like, I'm the Karate Master! The King's over in Giovanni's Gym. Why? I don't know. Though, admittedly, uh... Hitmonlee's not gonna probably do too well here. Sleep Powder. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't turned that off yet. It would speed things up. <sighs> I mean, I know it's training, but... I can at least spare people the pain of watching me do this, right? Oh, yeah, one hit. Okay, that that was pointless then. I mean, if I could take down Hitmonlee that easily, Hitmonchan's probably gonna follow. Because it's got a terrible special stat. Despite getting all those elemental punches, I just genuinely feel sorry for it. Like, I got all these special punches, but I can't take advantage of any of them! Ah, yes. Prized fighting Pokémon! Well, obviously we should take Hitmonlee. Boom. No, I guess I could've named it Bonus, but, you know, why do that? Oh yeah, I, I guess I could show off that exploit. It, it, it is funny. You know, in a dumb kind of way. Okay, I need to get back to Fuchsia City. You know, if worse comes to worse, I guess I can grab some repels and maybe head to Cinnabar Island and pick up the secret key early. You know, if I can't take on a gym leader or anything, you know, I can at least get some work done, but... I figured I'd show off this glitch. You know, the exploit was more the, uh, the pony toss stuff, right? Like, I can one-shot you because I have access to Horn Drill! Now then... We want to use this, we gotta head to the gym. You know what, we'll just fly... Back to Fuchsia City. I, I can't imagine it's too much faster, but, you know, we'll put me in front of the Pokémon Center so I don't have to walk all the way around to do it. Boom! Ah, uh, I forgot they fixed that in yellow. In red and blue, you could do that. They fixed up some of the glitches in this game, in the yellow version. Darn it, I forgot. <sighs> Until next time, then. See ya.